Tired computer, I guess. All that hard work we've been doing. Okay, so let's get back to it. We were right at the last step. Okay, and then draw a curved line for the mouse. Your job is to choose an animal. Like I said, it could be from yesterday. It could be from a diff from your list, or it could be a whole different animal. In your writing notebook, on the next page, I can draw, and then your, whatever your animal is. So I'll just use the example I just gave you. I can draw a cat. How about, instead of I, how about you? Because you're giving directions to someone else. You can draw a cat. Then you're going to write your directions, okay? Step one, blah, 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 blah. And then you're gonna show it just like here, just like our past two days with our dolphin directions. They gave the direction, they showed what it looked like. They gave the next step, then they showed the next step, okay? So that's what you're going to do. Obviously you're not going to choose cat or dolphin, right? Okay, so yours could look exactly like this just with your animal pictures and direction. So if you have your text here and your picture here and your text here, your direction here and your picture here and step three is here, are you gonna do step three picture here? No, just like in math with columns, you make it go with your one, two, three. Keep it all together. Don't go straight under it because then it won't be under direction, the correct direction, okay? So keep all the directions under it or next to it rather, next to the picture. Just like in here, they didn't draw this cat face right up here because that would be with step two when it's really step three. Okay, so write your directions out. So you might, it's up to you. It's how your brain works. You might write the direction, draw it, direction, draw it, direction, draw it. Or you might write all the directions out first and then draw last. I personally think it would be best to write the direction and draw it. That way you don't miss a step, okay? So again, choose an animal. Could be the same from yesterday or a different one. Cannot be cat cannot be a dolphin, and you will write your directions out, submit a picture, and then that will be fun. At the end of the day, what you should do is everybody should look and then read everybody else's directions, and then you could have a whole animal book. Because we have 14 friends, you could have a whole animal book and all the directions. Following the directions, use a different sheet of paper for each one. That would be something fun to do since your workload is a little light today. So submit a picture, directions, picture that goes with it. And I can't wait to see what kind of animals pop up again. I'm excited. Hey, guess what? And I'm not going to tell you how old I am. All right. Can't wait to read them. Maybe I'll even try some of them.